Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word, meditating on God's Word with you in Psalm chapter 16. A psalm, as the title says, a mikhtam, it's another musical term as we would see, but of David. David's psalm of prayers. David's psalm of security as we get to pick up from those first verses. But David's psalm of trust. A trust and a promise that will come to fruition. That's how God always works. Has always worked in David's life, will work, and will continue to work as he casts that vision, that promise forward. Psalm chapter 16 is about David and the security that he has, but a security and a promise and of life that will come to fruition in the Christ, the Holy One. And so a prophetic psalm of being able to see how he cares for David, but also how he is going to care for the whole world through his son, Jesus Christ. The apostles pick this up as Psalm chapter 16 is quoted in Acts chapter 2. In the continual Acts in the beginning of that church, being able to see promise fulfilled. That's what God does. All of his promises, all of his prophecies are a yes in Jesus. Let's meditate on Psalm chapter 16. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who will increase, will increase, who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips, meaning that he won't worship other gods. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. A right hand is this incredible protection and security. This provisionary hand. I have brought you up out of Egypt. I have saved you with my righteous right hand. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life, and you will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. You will not abandon me to the grave, even my grave, because you won't let your Holy One see decay. You won't let the Christ, he's going to be uh, dead, but then risen. You will not let your Holy One see decay. Therefore, my grave even has life in it. It isn't the end. Rather, I take pleasure. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices that I have a security that is called everlasting. And it is my refuge, my strength, my safe place. It is my Lord and no other thing. No other thing can give me life and security, joy and pleasure and everlasting than my Lord. So let my lips, let my life, let my whole being be filled with praise for that Lord and nothing else. Let us worship, let us speak, and let us live for our Lord alone. Thanks be to God.